Below the thunders of the upper deep, far, far beneath the abysmal sea, is ancient, dreamless, unabated sleep, the Kraken sleeping. I'm Paul, and once again on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this is the story of the largest and most fearsome ocean-dwelling monster in legend. Now, according to the NOAA, the National Ocean Service, less than 5% of the ocean has been explored. For what we know of the planet, most of it is undeniably a mystery. One of these is the accounts of the Kraken, which have existed since the 13th century, predominantly in the cold climates of the North Atlantic around Iceland and Norway. Now, originally referred to as Hafgufa, sea mist in Icelandic, and said to be able to sink a ship and devour its entire crew at once, the anonymous author of an old Norwegian scientific work, Kanunskuska, circa 1250, said, there is a fish that is still unmentioned, which it is scarcely advisable to speak about on account of its size, because it will seem to most people incredible. There are only a few people who can speak upon it clearly because it is seldom near land nor appears where it may be seen by fishermen. It would eventually be known as the Kraken, a Norwegian word meaning something twisted, unable to reproduce because there were so few in number. Mariners would speak of a creature so large it could be mistaken for an island. Some described it as crab-like while others said it resembled a whale. Now in the 18th century, it appeared in several volumes systemizing the natural world it would be given the scientific classification Microcosmus Marinus. In 1853, Norwegian naturalist Jeppe Strindstrup recovered the beak of a giant cephalopod stranded on a Danish beach. He was able to scientifically identify and describe the giant squid now known to grow up to 60 feet in length and the cause of the huge scars on sperm whales from their duels. It's just the kraken those ancient mariners saw. Now, does it still exist? Perhaps like the beluga whale, they are not keen on the presence of human men prefer a deeper habitat. With 95% of the ocean still unknown, we obviously can't say for sure. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this has been a story of how the legend of the Kraken came to be.